Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm Rahimi and today I'm teaching you something very important. I've noticed a lot of students pronounce these uh, words incorrectly. So if you pay close attention and watch this video till the end, you will learn how to pronounce these verbs correctly. Um, is or e is ending. Again, this pronunciation lesson is related to d or e d endings. We have voiced consonants and we have voiceless consonants. These letters are voiceless consonants. If you want to practice how to pronounce these words correctly, again, you need to put your finger over here and pronounce these letters. If you feel vibration, that is a voiced consonant. If you do not feel any vibration, that is a voiceless consonant. So now we have s sound, we have z sound, and we have is sound. If a verb or a noun, so there are two cases. In simple present tense, when the subject is third person singular, verbs take, uh, verbs take s or e s. So sometimes they are pronounced as s sound and sometimes as z sound and sometimes as is sound. So how to practice, I mean, how to learn to, 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 to pronounce these, you know, verbs correctly. Okay, so I said the first case, you know, when verb, a verb takes S or E is in simple present tense. The second case is that when we're trying to make countable nouns plural, again, there's the same case, okay? So some nouns end with voiced consonants, and some nouns uh, ends with voiceless consonants. So it's the same thing. I mean, the same uh, three types of, uh, you know, pronunciations. So look here. If... I pronounce these letters, there won't be any vibration. No vibration. And no vibration. So now this condition of no vibration continues and letter S is pronounced as sound. Like he works every day. We do not say he works. There is no Z sound or he puts his books in the bag. For example, in a sentence, you know, puts, we do not say puts, in mops, she mops the floor, mops. So, mops, and proofs. And here, these letters are voiced consonants, and they come at the end of these, you know, verbs and nouns. And then Z is also a voice uh, consonant. So, I mean, the condition of vibration continues because, again, if you practice this, like, why they are, I mean, there's letter S, but it is pronounced like Z sound. Why? It's because of, you know, these voice consonants. So, like, you say V, there's vibration. D, J, 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 and N. N, l, l, vibration. And then Z. So this vibration continues, and therefore the verb or the noun is, uh, I mean, the letter S at the end is pronounced like Z sound. So here we say lives. We say beds. It's a noun. You know, you want to make it plural. So you don't say beds. Beds. Why? Because this noun ends with the voice consonant and, you know, there's vibration when you pronounce it and it continues. The vibration continues and it's pronounced like z sound. So, beds, jog, jogs, run, runs, kill, kills. Now, if you have these uh, letters or the combinations of these, you know, two letters at the end of a uh, verb or noun, then those, I mean, uh, words or, you know, verbs are pronounced as is sound, okay? So E is, at the, at the end of these, you know, verbs and nouns, is pronounced like is. 
So, and I've heard a lot of students, you know, pronouncing these, you know, verbs or nouns incorrectly. I've heard many students saying, wash, watch, or, you know, fix us, okay? No, wash, washes, watch, watches, fix, fixes, go, goes, and buzz, buzzes, and bless, blesses. So I'm sorry, I mean, this verb should uh, mean uh, be used here, like you know, go goes, but, you know, mistakenly I, I wrote it there. But if you see that a verb or a noun ends with these letters, okay? Now, if it's a verb and you use in simple present tense and your subject is third person singular, this is how you pronounce these verbs, with is sound, okay? Or if it's a noun, for example, Okay, for example, watch, you know, watch. You know, how many watches did you buy yesterday? So watch, watches, okay? Or, for example, uh, um, if there are any other verbs, like, you know, push, pushes. Okay, wash, washes, push, pushes, watch, watches, fix, fixes. There's X, there's O, I mean Z and S. So I hope that, you, that you're going to practice, I mean, this simple, this easy way after you are done watching this video. I hope that you will think about these kind of verbs and nouns and write them on a piece of paper and, you know, see and put your finger over here and pronounce the letter which comes at the end of these verbs and nouns. And if there's vibration, so pronounce that verb or noun as a z sound. Or if there's no vibration, so pronounce that noun or verb as s sound at the end. And if you see these specific, you know, letters at the end of, you know, a verb or a noun, then is sound. I hope that you will practice this in order to learn how to pronounce these, you know, verbs and nouns correctly. This much is enough. Have a great time and see you later.